Okay, this is Born, reporter from Air Base Radio. I'm over here with Khalif, Loose Leaf. What's going on, man? Just got finished doing a workshop with them. I'm exhausted. What's going on, man? What's up, what's up? How you liking Germany so far? I'm liking it, brother. I'm actually having a good time here in Nuremberg. It's my first time here in the city. And um, I just feel fortunate enough to be out here on my born day. Yes, incredible workshop today. Uh, questions for those who don't know who you are. How long have you been doing this? Um, and what do you do? <laughs> well, I've been dancing, uh, teaching dance, MCN, DJing for now for 24 years. Um, the DJ Empire was over, over the last six, MCN since 1989, and yeah. All right. Uh, so to basically, you kind of, I know you kind of from the house scene, but mm -hmm. uh, there's something else that you do too. Uh, you kind of, you're in the hip hop scene as well as far as. Uh, yeah. I'm down with a crew called Mop Top. I'm also affiliated with 10 Thieves. We had a song out back in 1995 called It, um, it Doesn't Matter, It Don't Matter. And that was on VP Records, which is a primarily a reggae um, label out of Queens. And um, yeah. We, we did a tour with Nine, Bush Babies, and Channel Live. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's back some... At that time. Yeah, that's a, that's a throwback right there. That's oh, old yeah. school. But well, you're doing something new on some new projects too, right? Yeah, we got a um, song out right now. It's called A Throwback. Mm -hmm. A Throwback Rewrite. And that's uh, me, Buddha Stretch, and uh, Bobby. Bobby Mileage on that. Okay. Trying to bring that real, raw hip-hop, you know, that vibe. Back. Something needed, something definitely needed. Um, question I got for you, right now you're teaching a dance class, you're in Europe, you're originally from New York, mm -hmm. you're traveling a lot, how is it with the family life and everything, with you traveling, going? It's actually, it's hard, you know, um, I, I've been uh, divorced from my wife now for 13 years, but um, it's kind of hard because I, I don't actually get to spend as much time with my kids who are now young men, you know, like my oldest son is 20. <laughs> and my, I have another son that's going to be 18 in July, and my daughter's 15, so it seems like time is just moving by really fast. Yeah. So I see them on the important dates, graduations, so, you know, special award ceremonies and stuff like that. But yeah, that that's the only thing about this this job. It takes you away from, yeah. you know, it takes time away from the family, for sure. Yeah, so dancing's not an easy job out here, but you do it well, you do it good. Uh, Thank you. And a lot of people know you. Um, something, um, and what do you see for the dancers today? What do you see different than, what, I say, years ago compared to today and now with the dancers of today? The comparison, one comparison I can make is that I, I find that a lot of people are doing it for different reasons. Back in the day, people did it because they wanted the release. And I feel that nowadays they might want to but I think that more people do it because they realize that you can get notoriety from dancing. Yeah. When, when me and you both know back in the days, most people didn't even really care. It was, it was the norm to go to a club and get down. Yeah. You know, everybody did it. And now it's different. It's like we have a lot of contests and a lot of people are primarily doing the contest. Yeah, I, I won't say that they don't love it because that's not true. But I will say that they are doing it for they have a motive and then the, the reason why is because they want to be, become famous maybe some all the them, wrong reasons some of them yeah. some of them <laughs> and then some of them purely truly love it and they're trying to hold you know you know the, the, the art and the craft they're trying to keep it pure and I respect everyone but yeah these are the things I see and, right now. and you something that caught me uh, during the uh, workshop you said uh, there's a difference and also when we were talking earlier there's a difference between training and practicing right explain that a little bit uh, right well I, I find that nowadays people will come to me and they'll say how, how often do you train and I say well I, I train sometimes I train a lot and then sometimes I don't and I'm like well what do you mean train because for them, training is dancing. Mm -hmm. And for me, dancing is dancing. And when I dance, I practice dancing. But when I'm training, I'll, I, maybe I might put on a 40-pound vest 
and I might get into working out, which means I'm doing push-ups, sit-ups, you know, I'm doing stuff to build up my abs, to strengthen my legs, to strengthen my lower body, to strengthen my core, so that, that I can call on this when I want to do floor moves, etc. So I use the training aspect to build up my body so that I can dance longer. I, I, I don't necessarily go into <coughs> excuse me. I don't I won't necessarily go into training and mix that with dancing. No, they're two separate things. Right. Favorite food? <laughs> well, I, uh, for right now, I would I would say soul food. How about that? We'll put it in the category. Well, Favorite I mean, soul food. I, uh, soul food is a little too fattening. But one thing I can say for me that that I that I'm eat I'm eating I eat a lot right now is chicken. Chicken was is definitely this chicken rice, rice and beans. You know. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying some advice you can give some dancers out here that are coming up nowadays. Stay true to yourself. Um, Always be humble and um, realize that you, you, it, you, you need everyone around you to make you strong. If you don't have people around you and you, you destroy all your friends, then <coughs> there's going to be nothing left in the future. So we all need each other. This dance uh, culture is small. It's still small, even though it's grown over the years. It's, it's still small. We still only make up 1% of the seven or eight billion people that are here on this planet. So we all need each other and we all need to work together so that we can keep this around for another 20, 30 years. Definitely, definitely. And you're also doing some wears and tears. You have some t-shirts that mm -hmm. you're doing. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Uh, I have a brand, the name of my brand is called Supreme Foundation and it's really based around the art form and it's really me paying homage to hip hop. I started out with the first uh, Supreme Foundation symbol, which was vinyl. It was a symbol of vinyl, which is to me, hip hop, the Supreme Foundation of hip hop is vinyl, is scratching, DJing. And right now, nowadays, no one uses vinyl anymore. It's very rare that you'll come across a DJ that he's actually pulling out vinyl. He's bringing those crates into the party. And for me, it means the beginning. It means the essence. And so I wanted to bring up something pure because I feel I represent that. I represent the essence of whatever I'm teaching. And, yeah, that's what my brand also okay. represents. And where can they, uh, people reach you at uh, for merchandise? They, they can hit me up if they're interested in my brand at Big Leaf 2, which is B-I-G-L-E-A-F, the number 2, at Hotmail.com. Or they can give me a call, 347-627-2793. That's the home phone. You can hit me up if you're interested in getting some, and then, you know, we can work out your sizes or whatever and ship it out to you. Okay. Any uh, shout-outs you want to give? Um, I want to give a shout-out to my kids, Khalif, Kai, and Summer. I love you to death. To my mom, you know I love you. Um, to the whole fam. To my dance family, which is DFF, Dance Fusion Family. That's the whole crew, especially the Marge right now. She needs all of our prayers right now because she's going through her bout with cancer. And so if anybody out there can say a prayer for her, pass on a prayer, it's, it's definitely well received. Also to Mop Top, that's uh, motivated on precision towards outstanding performance, M-O-P, T-O-P, and that's the whole crew. Yeah. Shout outs. Yeah. Today's your birthday. Thanks for coming out, man. I'm up here chopping it up with Loose Leaf. Thank you very much, man. And Welcome, brother. Yes. Thank you.